Hello everybody. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Happy Father's Day. I know I probably don't have a lot of fathers watching me, but I think we can all celebrate fathers, right? We all came from one someplace along the lines. <laughs> so, yeah, my father's been gone a few years now. And um yeah, I really miss him. He was a good dad. Like, he was the best. And uh, we adored him. He was a great storyteller. Um, every once in a while, I hear somebody talking about, or just talking in general, and I hear them say something that reminds me of him. Like, uh, my dad didn't say battery, like the battery for your watch. He said battery. This is a battery. And I always get, anytime battery is mentioned, I always think of my dad. Another one of his favorite phrases was, now, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> he was a really wonderful storyteller. My dad was a professional truck driver most of his adult life. And um, boy, he had a lot of crazy stories to tell. When it was spring break, um, I used to go with him on the truck and I went like all over the country it was just such an adventure um, he was a very generous man people liked him um, he laughed a lot he was kind of um, private it's kind of odd that he was a good storyteller but kind of private but yeah he was he was just a really great guy hi Lisa hi Nancy Stephanie Sandy welcome Trudy so, um, yeah, I always felt loved. I was a daddy's girl, and uh, I miss him a lot. So, if you could describe your dad with one word, what would it be? What would your one word be to describe your dad? Hmm. I think I would say my one word would be generous. He was always very generous. If you were a good person and he felt that you were um, somebody in need, he'd give you the shirt off his back. He was always there to help. Um, I would call my dad generous. Hi, Judy. Hi, Beth. Hi, Jane. Welcome. So what would your one word be to describe your dad? Pop that in the comments. <laughs> Yeah, Diane says her dad passed away a long time ago and she still misses him. I do too. I really do miss my dad. Like, he was our leader. He was the leader of our pack. He was the leader of our family. And a lot of things have changed since he's been gone. Um, he was always a big one. We went on a vacation every summer for a week to uh, South Dakota from Wisconsin, or North Dakota, I should say to Devil's Lake Fishing. Um, he was always the leader of our hunting groups. He was always the one who set up what was gonna be taking place that day. And, and yeah, when he was gone, it was tricky for a while to see who was gonna step up and be in charge because that takes a pretty big person to be in charge and not make everybody angry or you know whatever. Um, there are people who are leaders and there are people who are not. And he definitely was a great group leader. <laughs> So, what's been happening this week? Um, yeah, what is this? This week, Monday, retirement party. Oh, <laughs> I have to go to a retirement party. Yeah, so um, this week I have a really busy week. Monday, my husband's um, secretary, now he doesn't work anymore, he's retired, but it, it, she used to be his secretary. She's finally retiring, so we're going to go to her retirement party. And then on Tuesday night, I have Stamp Club in Oshkosh. So if any of you gals are watching, um, I can't wait to stamp with you. Then on Wednesday, I have my tip video. Now, I have some tip videos made for the next several Wednesdays. We're just going to be covering new products. And I think that's kind of fun because um, it's just a video that is for this product and this is how it works. Or it's a video for this product and here's some tips to use it or this is what the product is for. I like to have those videos so that when people ask me questions, I can go find them on my YouTube channel, bring them in, and um, say, here's a video just dedicated to this item. So I've got quite a few of those um, 
in my mind and also recorded so that um, I'm a little bit ahead of schedule. That never happens for me, you guys. Um, that's Wednesday. Thursday, we have the Creative Inking Blog Hop. I'm excited about that. Um, you're, we are featuring our, so my favorite new catalog suite. I don't know what I'm going to come up with for that. I have, I've been thinking about it, but I don't have anything planned as of yet. We'll see. Tonight, I'm working with two different suites. I've got some fun fold cards to share with you because you guys know those are my favorite, right? Um, I'm using the Free as a Bird stamp set and Bird Ballad Suite, and then also that new Dinah Roar Suite with the dinosaurs. You guys, I don't even have any little kids. Well, I have little grandkids, but this stamp set, this suite of dinosaurs is to die for. I had so much fun making these cards, so can't hardly wait to share them with you. The other thing I have, remember I said it was a busy week, is um, Good Morning Magnolia online class is going live on Friday, so watch for that. My online classes are really fun. They're exclusive. Each project comes with a um, exclusive video tutorial. There's some written, written instructions, dimensions included in the online class. You get the classes free when you buy the bundle from me, and the bundle includes the stamp set, and framelits. If you want to buy the big bundle that includes all the designer paper and the embellishments that match, ribbon perhaps, if you want to do that you certainly can, but um, to get the online class free you need to buy the stamp set and the framelits. So that's really fun. And then on Saturday, I know there's more, like I said, busy week, we have a zero party to go to. Now what the heck is that? It's a party that my husband's family started um, doing a few years ago. They have their little brothers turning 50, one of the sisters is turning 60, and mom turned 80. So we call it a zero party. <laughs> it's super, super fun. So we're gonna be going to that too on Saturday, and then I'll be back here on Sunday again. Um, before I forget, Sunday, June 23rd, I'm looking at my calendar over here. Um, I will be live again next Sunday. The following Sunday is going to be June 30th. I'm going to try to come up with a Facebook Live, not live, for you guys, um, because I will be in Nashville that weekend. Haley's bachelorette party, boy, that wedding is coming up fast. Holy cow. Um, so I will be gone on the 30th, but I'm going to try to come up with something for you guys that'll post at 7 p.m. Just like I was here, only I'm not going to be here. I'll be watching it from the road because I'm sure we'll be driving at that point. <laughs> we're driving to Nashville, driving back, and we're just going down to have a little celebration um, for Haley's wedding. Yeah, and that says she loves the idea of a zero party. How cute. Yeah, because so many people were turning, you know, 40 or 50, 60, and 80, the zero party is really fun. It's just a good theme. So I have one card to share with you this week, and this comes to me from Cindy Kittner. It's a beauty. How pretty is that? Yeah, I love this card, Cindy. Thank you very much. And um, she won the silver striped metallic ribbon, and um, her card is just filled with thank you so much for sharing all your ideas and Facebook Live. And I just really appreciate that, Cindy. So thank you very, very much. It's going to go right back here with my display cards. I always like to put my cards from the week back there. And what else do we have going on? Um, don't forget to share my video. I think it's safe to say that now. Facebook has released that word from Facebook prison. <laughs> Whatever, right? Uh, it so didn't make any sense. I'm going to pull you guys up on my computer here so I can see your comments coming in better. So just give me a second. Hi, Reva from the Texas Panhandle. And Diana, thank you for the share. I appreciate it. And, yep, I've got my mute on my computer so you guys don't hear me double. That'll confuse me as if I'm not confused enough most of the time. <laughs> Hi, Sandy from Ohio. Okay, let's scroll up so we're getting the latest comments. Um, what else? 
What else do I have? If you're new to me and you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Um, just pop me an email or private message with your address. I can send you the new catalog. I love to do that because everybody should have one, right? Oh, yeah. They're dangerous, too. Um, I think we can go right into prizes. Oh, I did get a no contact order. I think I might be able to figure out who this is from. So back a few years ago, when you created your Stampin' Up! online account, there was a box you could click. It's not there anymore. But you could contact a box that said you didn't want, or you could click a box that said you didn't want to have contact. And what that did, it was a disaster. What it did was it doesn't let me know who you are when you place an order. I get an email saying that an order has been placed, but it doesn't have a name for the person. And so I have no way to thank you. And um, I got a no contact order on June 13th. The total for the order was 196.49. If that's you, will you please contact me and let me know who you are because we can go to stamp it up and change that so that doesn't happen again. But I'd at least like to be able to thank you, right? Like. That, for me, is painful that I can't know who you are. All right, we have winners from last week. So first I'm going to do the winners for, oops, hang on, I just mixed up my notes here. Um, thank you guys for the shares. I appreciate it. So um, first of all, for commenting, we have... A prize here. I've still got some of the candle embellishments left. These are really, really cute, you guys. They're little silver and gold candles that are self-adhesive. So let me show them to you. Let me see if I can do this. Can you see that? Yeah, little tiny silver and gold candles. Um, the winner for commenting from last week is Barbara Stone of Voris Vorisville, New York. I hope I said that right, Barbara. Um, so congratulations, you won some of these. And then I also have a drawing for sharing. So make sure you're doing that because you'll get entered into a drawing to win. Just click on that share button. Don't forget to click on the like button too. That really helps me out. It all has to do with the algorithms of Facebook and I don't understand all of it because I'm a stamper, not a computer programmer, although sometimes I feel like I'm a computer programmer. But click on that like button, click on that share button. Please make sure you're sharing my video to your personal profile, okay? I've had some people who have been sharing it to my um, my VIP group. Yeah, don't share stuff to my groups. You want to share it to your own group. Because um, I have a schedule that I share this in my own group, so I appreciate that. Um, for sharing, that's where we're at. For sharing last week, I have more candle embellishments and a pokey tool. That's going out to Nancy Voles of Mountaintop, Pennsylvania. Nancy, you're a big winner. Woohoo! And for ordering, I always have another drawing for ordering. The Strong and Beautiful stamp set is one of my favorite greeting sets. I absolutely love the um, sentiments of encouragement in here and this is for placing an order with me everybody who places an order with me gets entered into a drawing Barbara you're on here yay you're a winner you knew that right you knew you're a winner <laughs> um, our winner for placing an order this week is Jennifer Campla from St. Petersburg Florida Jennifer this is gonna be on the way to you tomorrow morning so Congratulations, everybody. I'm gonna set these back here so I do not lose them because sometimes things can be a mess. So I was having a real creative block this week. Like I spent hours one night trying to come up with a tip video and projects to show with the tip that I was using and I just couldn't make it happen. Like I finally got so fed up, I went, I went to bed. I'm like, I've had it. And does that ever happen to you? Like, what's, what do you do to get out of that slump? Like, I felt like I was just wasting so much time and accomplishing absolutely nothing. So I'll tell you what I do to get out of that slump. A lot of times I think it's because my studio is in disarray. 
And even though I'm like, eh, it doesn't matter what kind of a mess I have going on here, a lot of times in the back of my mind or maybe subliminally, it matters. And I think that's what's kind of stopping my creative process. So when I get into a creative slump, I clean. And I cleaned up my whole office. I put all my stuff away. I put all my new stuff over on my shelf. Um, my table over there has a ton of cards sitting on it, but I put away all the things that were kind of making me feel like, ah, oh, my life is a mess. And boy, did I start creating. <laughs> it works for me. So I can't wait to show you what I came up with. Um, but before we do that, remember the card challenge? Hang on, I'm gonna grab the layout. This was our layout challenge that I posed to you guys. Everybody that submitted cards, bless your heart. Your cards were so cool. You did such a wonderful job. I enjoyed each and every one of them. Um, this was a challenge, and I said I would award a prize. And guess what that prize is going to be? What? Beautiful friendship. This has got to be one of my favorites. Now, I have some cards made with this. They are going to be part of the Stamping Society Blog Hop and Exclusive Video Tutorial. That is coming up on July 1st, so watch for that. I'm gonna be showing you a card made with this set, and then when you place a minimum $25 order with me, you get a six card video tutorial as a gift. And um, in that, in that tutorial, this is going to be our focus. Everybody's gonna be making projects with this beautiful friendship, and I love these images. Like, this was one of my first items I had to order on June 4th when that catalog went live. So, um, this is being awarded for the card challenge. Now, it was just a drawing. I didn't go in and pick my favorite because, well, I, I just wanted to, to be very random. Everybody who provided cards for the um, layout challenge should have the same opportunity to win. So my winner is Laura Hernandez of Stafford, Virginia. This is coming your way tomorrow morning. Woohoo! So there we go. Oh, Jenny said she didn't get hers posted because of migraines. I'm so sorry, Jenny. And please do post them when you're feeling better. We would love to see what you made. Um, congratulations here, Laura, all for you. And thanks to everybody who joined in the card challenge. I'll have another one, don't worry. If you missed it, you'll have another opportunity. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this away now. And what are we gonna make first here? I think we're gonna make some dinosaur cards. Now, this fun fold card that I'm gonna show you can be made with any stamp set, with any designer series paper. I think you're just going to love it. But this dinosaur paper is to die for. Now, before I forget, I'm going to get a bunch of people, usually demonstrators, who ask me questions about this sampler. And they're going to ask me if I can share this with them. No, I can't. This is part of a service that I pay for, for meetings, for meetings for my team. And while I can't share this with you, all it is is a sheet of white cardstock that has printed the name of the designer paper and the coordinating colors off the back of the designer paper pack. These squares are all two inches. These circles are one inch circles, punches. So um, you're more than welcome to make your own. I love having this as a reference that I can show in my videos because it you know, really displays the paper nicely. So we're gonna be using that Dino Roar Designer Series paper and the dinosaur set called Dino Days. And you know, I thought this was just for kids, but it really isn't. It's an all around super cute set and it just makes me smile. So I think you're gonna love it. We also have the Dino Dies. There's some really cool elements in here besides cutting out a half an egg and the dinosaurs and the dinosaurs little, you know, um, jagged, you know, whatever you call these things. What I don't know what those are called, but that goes on this guy. Um, spines. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to stop right there before I make a fool out of myself. Um, besides those images, you also have this image for the for the palm tree leaf. And then these circles that cut out of the background, what does this one do? Oh, this does some little um, arrow looking deals with polka dots. 
and this one does some little triangles and then here is the trunk for the palm tree super super cute you guys carol says this bundle is on her list i'm glad i'm using it too you're gonna see a lot more of this coming from me because it is stinking adorable and super easy to create with so that was really fun fun for me all right here comes all my stuff i'm going to be turning my screen around in just a second hang on because my computer doesn't like to scroll with your comments I know, I'm like a broken record with that. I'll try to stop saying it, but it really annoys me. I'm not going to lie. Um, this dinosaur set is on page, starts on page 98. And you can see all the super, super cute little cards here. Um, one of the cards that really made me want this was this one right down here. And it says, I love you this much. And then you've got that silly little dinosaur with his little stubby hand sticking out there. Like he's spreading them like, I love you this much. And it says in parentheses, it's more than it looks. <laughs> so I just made me giggle. Here's the um, other, whoops, let me see if I can get this in my, it's hard to do this. Okay, so one of the new things that Stampin' Up! has started doing is putting a whole suite in here with one sweet number. So if you wanna order the stamp set, the dies, the designer series paper, the embellishments and the ribbon that all coordinate with the suite, you can just use one item code and it'll give you all of this stuff. And I love that. I think that's a fantastic idea. So let's get started. Mm, where am I gonna put this? I'm just gonna set my catalog back there because I think I'll need it again. Oh. I forgot to update you guys. I am now down 35 pounds. I think maybe last week I was at 34, not sure. But I'm at 35 pounds now and I am still feeling great and I still haven't done a lick of exercise. If any of you are new, I've been trying to lose weight from my daughter Haley's wedding. She's getting married August 3rd and um, I'm on the Opta-Via program, O-P-T-A-V-I-A -A program and it has worked like clockwork. And um, I haven't done any exercise, none, zero, zero exercise. It has been so crummy here in Wisconsin. Rain and cold or windy. If it's sunny, it's windy and the wind is coming from the north. Um, Lori's asking, when did I start? I wonder if Bev's on here tonight. She's my coach. Um, I think I started at the end of February, maybe. So... Um, <laughs> Nancy says, congrats, you skinny thing. Thank you, Nancy. I am starting to feel thin. And um, I went shopping and bought some new clothes. I got some shorts that are really cute. And now I need to start exercising to tone up. You know, <sighs> I hate exercise. Okay, enough about my weight loss. <laughs> we are going to turn this camera around. And, oh, Charlene, Charlene says her niece is an Optavia coach. Yeah, it's, um, it's a pretty good gig. With the program, you get a coach. I talk to Bev every Monday morning, and she gives me tips and, and encouragement and tells me um, not to blow it and, you know, do this, don't do that. And, and it's just fantastic having that person to report to. And I also feel like you guys are kind of my, um, you encourage me too, because I want to be able to give you a good report every week, right? Yeah, I don't want to come on saying, oh, I gained weight. <laughs> okay, Spanx, Nancy says, yeah. <laughs> I know, I have a slinky dress for that wedding, so I need to keep this, keep this thing going here. All right, we're going to turn the camera around. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'll tell you when to open them up. I've got my phone plugged in. Whoa! Hang on. Technical problems. Let's get, I don't want this to be shining in your face. That's annoying. Let's get this all straight here. And I need to re-mirror my phone. There we go. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. Everything looks straight. You can open your eyes, everybody. All right. Super duper fun coming your way. So hang tight here. I am going to, I always put my little dimensions up there. Oh, by the way, I will have, I have all the dimensions typed up. So as soon as my Facebook Live, oh, you can open your eyes. Did I say that? As soon as my Facebook Live is over, 
I will post all the dimensions above the video on the same Facebook area where you're at. So above the Facebook Live video, I'll put all the dimensions in for you if you don't feel like writing them down. Um, first thing we're gonna do here, I have an old olive card base, and this is four and a quarter by 11. We're gonna score this. So let me bring in my trimmer. And we're gonna score, this is super easy. Oh, by the way, this is called a flap fold card. We're gonna score this at four and a quarter and eight and seven eighths, just like that. Let's get some more light on the subject here. What is wrong with my light? There we go. All right, let me put this off, off to the side again. And here comes my bone folder. So I'm going to burnish these edges with my bone folder. Hang on just a second while I get my screen back up here where it belongs. I don't know why that stopped. I'm gonna stop whining. I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'll just tell you, hang on a second, because I hate it when people repeat themselves over and over. Okay, so this is what we have, all right? Next thing I'm gonna do is bring in my two and a quarter inch circle punch, and I am going to push it in as far as it'll go, and now I'm gonna try to center it here so that I've got, I'm punching out it's pretty even. Don't get too worried about it if it's not perfect, okay? But I wanted it to be centered on that score line. So there we go. And then we've got two pieces of designer series paper. These are both four by four. I've got scraps of pool party and this is our pretty peacock, which is what the background of this is. Pretty peacock. Mm, I love this color. And then a half inch strip of Mango Melody and a half inch strip of Designer Series paper, a three by four piece of Whisper White. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to get out a piercing mat. This is just one of our piercing mats that I cover with printer weight paper to protect it so I'm not stamping images on it. And I'm gonna bring in my Pretty Peacock and my Pool Party. Okay, here we go. If you came on late, don't forget to share this video and click on that like button. You can do that right while you're watching me. That helps me out a lot. I am going to um, take a leap of faith and call this a pterodactyl. Am I right, dinosaur people? If you are a dinosaur person, is this a pterodactyl? Because I am not a dinosaur person, but I think that's what it is. <laughs> And then, that was Pool Party, this is Pretty Peacock. These little um, upside down Vs fit right into that guy's wings. So I thought that was pretty cute. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna set these over here for a second. All right, this is going to be our inside layer. And you could, of course, do a whole bunch of other things to it. You could add a strip of designer paper, you could stamp some more images. The sky's the limit with this one. But I'm just gonna do this, okay? So that's going right inside here. And then we're gonna take our designer series paper. These are four by four. And we're gonna add this one right here. And again, this is just another perfect example of keeping you from hoarding the paper. <laughs> we are not hoarding the paper. And this one I'm gonna put right here on the front. Now remember, this is just four by four, so that's cool. It fits in here either way. Oh, I love this, love this, love this. Okay, then I've got a little strip. This is a half inch by four and a quarter inch strip of designer. <gasps> oh, I just dropped it on my desk, hang on. Now I got glue all over, let me, here's a tissue. It, you know, it never lands. The way that would be helpful, right? Like not face down. I mean, it it always lands face down. That's like, have you ever dropped like I don't know a piece of toast on the floor? It doesn't land face up either. It always lands with the jelly side down. Oh gosh, <laughs> it's like Murphy's law. Oh, that's looks really crooked. There we go. So I just wanted that little bit of mango melody peeking out here. And this is just gonna go 
right here. And this is a little bit longer than it needed to be, but you only need it to be four and a quarter. Isn't that cute? <gasps> I just love doing stuff like that. Just these little extras. Take your cards from, oh, that's nice, to wow, look at that, right? Okay, so super, super cute. Now, the next thing we're going to do is take those scraps, if I can find them. Who knows where my scraps went? They're here. I showed them to you. Huh. Well, hang on. I don't even know how that happens. Do you know how that happens? Nope, I need pool party. Pool party scrap. And a pretty peacock scrap. I always find the things that I lose later. So, yeah. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to bring in my um, starburst punch and punch out a starburst out of the pretty peacock and then I've got the words here I'm gonna use pretty peacock ink and stamp that this says thanks for being a friend of Saurus <laughs> yeah this could go to anybody anybody and you're thinking, ah, I'm not going to send something child childish like that to my friends. Why not? They'll get a good giggle out of it. Everybody needs to laugh more. Okay, so there's that. Now we've got, I take my, do you see this? This is new. I have a video coming up on this little bugger. But we're going to use the spatula end. These are the embellishments that come with, or I should say are part of the suite. And I'm just going to use my spatula end. I had somebody asking me what that spatula end is for. It's perfect for picking up these types of things. And I'm just going to add that right to my circle. Now you can see these. We've got lovely lipstick, old olive, and pretty peacock. And some really cool little designs there. Glue this to our starburst. This is a really easy little fun fold to make. We're going to take this and close it, and now I'm going to add just a little bit of glue right here. And we're going to center this in the circle cut out. Okay. Now you have to make sure that you get it in here far enough that it will open. So I had to push it down just a little bit. So keep that in mind. Okay. And here's our super cute card. I can write anything in here, a little note, whatever. Hey, let's do lunch. You guys know I love to go out to lunch, right? And then, um, what else do I want to do? Do, do, do? I think that's it for this one. Here we go. That's a flap fold card. Oh, I didn't have an envelope. Let me grab one. I just happen to have a whole pack here. I'll leave this out on my desk. So let's put our little pterodactyl dude. Where did he go? Right here. As long as we still have this out, I'm going to do this. He's so cute, isn't he? <laughs> I love him. And we'll do... I'm going to stand up so I can see. Oh, somebody last week told me that when I turn my camera around, my voice gets quieter. And I said, no, it must be your internet. Well, there were several people that told me that. So I apologize, first of all, because I really did think that it was your internet. But um, I guess that does happen and there's nothing I can do about it. Look at that. Isn't it cute? Okay, I have another card to show you using this same fold. I'm going to show you a couple things about that. So let's just, I'm going to set this off to the side. And we're going to bring in some, this is going to be the inside layer. I want to show you how I did it. So here comes the rest of our ink colors. Let's just set this off over here. Oh, hang on. I'm getting kind of warm. Whew. Yeah. Take my little jacket off. I was cold before I had my space heater on under my desk on, yeah, June 16th. Insane, right? Okay, I am going to stamp the trunk for the palm tree. And this again is a three by four layer. I'm just doing another one of these 
flap fold cards. And then I'm going to bring in the leaves for the tree. And what I did is I kind of started by stamping the first one and then the second one and then the third one. Just kind of stamped these all over to make my palm tree. And I think it's just so adorable. Isn't that the cutest little palm tree? Then I've got this funny little dinosaur guy. I don't know what he is. But he's cute, and that's all I care about. Let's see, I didn't leave enough room for him. Darn it. Hmm, let's start over. Yep, we have two sides. Yes, we do. I'm going to stamp this little guy right here, and then we're going to do this again. We're going to make our tree go over a little bit further. Sometimes we have to do that, right? So, there we go. This is going to be better. I don't want the palm leaf to go over his face for Pete's sakes because he's so cute. There we go. That works. And then I've got Old Olive here. So Mango Melody Lovely Lipstick Pretty Peacock. Here comes Old Olive and this is the little part that goes on his back. That spiny deal. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And then we're going to do Pretty Peacock for this little some spots on his belly. Then the other thing that I wanted to show you is how I got my greeting in this card. I'm going to show you the completed card in just a second. So hang on. I'm just grabbing a baby wipe. There we go. So I've got a baby wipe here. I am going to ink up the greeting, I love you this much. It's more than it looks. I only want part of it. So I'm going to take my baby wipe and I'm sticking my fingernail into the end of it and I'm going to clean off this bottom sentence. And this I tried to stamp it in, with only the top getting ink. I could use a marker for this if I'd like, but quite frankly, the markers, I huffed on it, the markers aren't as nice as an ink pad, I'm just telling you. Okay, and now I'm going to ink it up again and I'm going to take the ink off the top sentence. And this is a way that you can use and make different, you know, sizes of images out of these greetings that are too close together for you to only stamp a part of them. And then hop on it and stamp it again. Okay, then I took my scissors and I just cut these out. The sample in the catalog does the same thing. That's where I got the idea from. Love to case the catalog, right? And you're just going to snip this, and then you're going to snip this one. Same thing. And I know I'm missing comments. My mom has been telling me that she's been watching my Facebook Live every week, and I don't even see her. Come on. Cause I'm, you know, I'm busy doing all these things. <laughs> yeah. So let me get my screen scrolled up here. Oh my gosh, gazillions. Yeah, markers don't work that great with photopolymer. Mary says. Yeah. Um. I completely agree. Okay, then I took this and I stuck it right up here. And I took this and I stuck it right down here and now I'll show you my stinking adorable card. I just used different designer paper here and here. I put some of those cute little embellishments that go with the dino paper. This is actually one of the prints. It's this print. This is the back of it. This is the front. I just took the punch and punched out some dinosaurs there. I used Mango Melody on my Starburst. And here's my inside. What do you guys think? Ah, isn't it just adorable? Yeah, I was giddy. Giddy over these. So, you don't have really room to write much of a message. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. But you could just say, love grandma. Or, um, love mom. Or whatever. And the other thing I thought would be super cute with this whole suite is to make up some three by three cards. We have three by three envelopes you can buy. Make up some three by three cards with a whole bunch of um, of these papers and the cute little dinosaur images. 
and give them to your children to put in their kids' lunch boxes or even um, what else could we do with them? You could make them up for your child to give to the bus driver, um, whatever. You know, thanks for being a friend of Saurus. Super cute. Okay, I'm going to leave this sit right here. And I will bring this back out so you can see this one too. While I put things away. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, you could write on the yellow. You definitely could do that. Yeah, this sweet... I'm telling you, it is stinking adorable, and I really had a great time with it. Um, I whipped these cards up this morning because I thought I was ready for Facebook Live when I went to bed in the wee hours earlier this morning and found out that I kind of messed up. Needed to do a little change of plans, which you'll see coming out, but not tonight. <laughs> I, had, I had cards ready and then realized that my stamping society was using the bundle that I was also featuring, that's not going to work. I can't, can't do that. So that's how these cards came about this morning after I got up, before we went and did our Father's Day celebration, which, by the way, all the kids, well, except for Steve's son, he lives kind of far away, all the kids showed up, and we went bowling today for Father's Day. And it was super, super fun. Had a great time. And... You know, people will sometimes ask me, what are you not good at? I am not good at bowling. That is my thing. I am a terrible bowler. I don't even know if I broke 60 each time. I'm just that bad. <laughs> I can't bowl. I stamp. <laughs> okay, let me set these both aside. And bring in the next cards. Another fun fold you guys are going to love. This time we're going to use the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper. And the Free as a Bird stamp set along with whoops, these stitched, oh, what are these called? I took the sheet out. I don't even know what they're called. Eh, we'll figure it out. We're using these framelits. Who knows what they're called? I can't remember. A little bit of coloring. Um, yeah, and then I wanted to show this to you because I don't think I've shown this yet. Let me grab my Fraser bird here so I know what, what I'm talking about. You know there's an index in the back of the catalog, right? I use it frequently. Free as a Bird is on page 92. Oh, it starts on page 90. Ooh, beautiful. These are the stitched nested label dies. That's what these are, stitched nested label dies. They come as a bundle with the stamp set. You can get that, the number is right down here, or you can order this entire suite with one number here. So, I'm gonna show you what's all included. We get this beautiful lace ribbon the designer series paper, the stamp set, the nested labels, um, these cool embellishments. They're kind of a pewter looking embellishment. Look at those. There's flowers. They're so pretty. Flowers and keys and little bows. Those are neat. By the way, you will find a shopping list on my blog um, that shows all the products that I'm using and the cards that we're making tonight. So we've got that, that, and then this. This is a tin of laser cut cards. They're vanilla. You get cards and envelopes. These are so, so pretty, you guys. And then you have this little tin that you can do whatever you'd like with, or you can use it as a good gift holder and make up a set of cards and put them right in here. Tie it with some, well, you could tie it with the, you could tie it up with the lace and pretty put a pretty tag on it, and bam, you've got a gorgeous gift. All right. Is the lace trim on back order? I don't know if it's on, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I don't think it's on back order, you guys. But if it is, you can still order it, and they'll send it when it's available. 
it is not on the unorderable back order list. Sometimes we have to turn the number off on things because um, it's going to be a while. This is not on there. Okay, let's get our card going here. Where did my cards go? Oh, whew, right here. All right, so the first one I'm going to make, this is a really cool panel card. And, oops, here we go with layers. Again, all of these dimensions I'll post above the video when we're done tonight. So, Susan says she sees nothing but comments and can't hear anything. Um, Susan, what type of device are you on? Yeah, Mercy says back ordered isn't a problem, but non orderable makes us cry. It makes me cry too, Mercy, more than you know. <laughs> and Lori ordered the bundle and the lace is on back order. Okay, I didn't know that, so thank you for telling me that. But if you order the bundle, it will come. The lace will come as soon as it's available. I can check actually and see when that's going to be available. Hang tight, you guys. What are you guys drinking tonight? I've got my strawberry lemonade. I'm going to log into my demonstrator website here and look at our inventory status report. It's one of the nice things Stampin' Up! gives to us is a status report. Oh, here it is. June 24th. So, today's the 16th. Next week, Monday, the lace will be in our warehouse. So, that's not too bad. It's been highly popular. All right, back to our project. This is a front panel fun fold. So we are using basic black. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I have this panel that is two and three quarters by 11 and I've already scored it at five and a half. So we're gonna burnish that edge, with our bone folder. And then I'm pairing it up with Bermuda Bay. The Bermuda Bay is four by five and a quarter, two and a half by five and a quarter. And then I've got two pieces of Whisper White here. The first one is three and three quarters by five. This one is two and a half by five and a quarter. Okay, time to start stamping. This is gonna be a really simple card. Oh, and you're gonna need scraps of black and white, or I'm sorry, Bermuda and white. And what I did is I cut out these two images from our nested labels. Okay, so I've got a little bit larger one. This is a small one. Let's see, where's where are they? So I used the number two, if you count from the inside out, the number two and the number three from this side. Does that make sense? You're gonna just make them, make that, that white one, whatever size of image you're gonna stamp on it. And for this one, I decided to stamp The World Needs More of You. So let's see if I can get this straight on here. And I'm just using black memento ink. Well, that's not really that straight, is it? Hang on. That's better. I like that better. Okay. And then we're going to glue this to the Bermuda Bay one. You're just going to center it on there. Well, that still looks kind of crooked, but you guys will do better than I did. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Then we're going to bring in our designer series paper. And again, I am using the Bird Ballad designer series paper. Let me get back over to my Facebook Live. Oh, Marlene's drinking an old fashioned. Marlene, where are you from? Are you in the Midwest? Because we love our old fashions. That's not what I'm drinking. Um, my favorite is Southern Comfort Old Fashioned Sweet with Olives. Thank you very much. Yeah, they're delicious. Okay, this designer series paper is two and a quarter by five. And then I just have a little piece here that is the same size as the white. Two and a half by one half inch. And this paper I just cut diagonally from the bird ballad paper, this little strip. Okay, this is one of the easiest cards ever. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add this little strip. Brandy Old Fashioned with cherries is what Dawn likes, yum. Yeah, we love our old fashions in the Midwest. 
If you guys ever get to the Midwest, order an old fashioned. You'll understand. <laughs> I know that they're not, there's something that they're not um, real common outside of the Midwest from what I understand. Okay, this white piece is going to go on the inside of our black. And this is going to be the panel that you can write a note on. Now I have to tell you guys before I forget, both of these types of cards that I'm making, um, where did that other one go? The flat fold card and this front panel fun fold. These are, the paper is doing all the work for us, like seriously. The designer paper is what really does it. And I have to say that the dinosaur paper, whoops, and the um, bird ballad paper, they're just stinking adorable. Like, they're so pretty. They're doing all the work for me. It makes creating cards so much easier when you have gorgeous paper. Now, I'm going to make sure that my feathers are going up. I didn't want them to go down, although they look fine going down. I'm going to make mine go up. So watch if you have a definite pattern. You don't want your birds, if you use the birds, to be upside down, right? And then we're going to take these and glue them together. So here comes our Bermuda Bay onto our black back panel. Should I get that on there straight? Here comes my Whisper White onto my Bermuda Bay. And again, layer, layer, layer. Your cards are so much more spectacular if you have more layers on them. Here comes... This just gets glued right on the front, in the middle. That's it. It's, there's, it's nothing tricky. Make sure that I have this lined up good. There we go. And then I'm going to get out some dimension. No, nope, I didn't. I didn't use dimensionals. I just used glue. Ooh, don't put glue way out here because you don't want it. It sticks over just a little, little bit. Get this centered on here. Last but not least, I've got this gorgeous glittered organdy ribbon. I love this ribbon, and it. You know, this is pretty. This is a nice card. But once you add this, this just adds that little bit of bling that's going to take your card to the next level. Again, this is the glittered organdy ribbon. And if you're going to place an order and you don't have some of this, get some. Like, you need to have it. It can be used with so many different projects. It actually was featured with our Halloween stuff in the last holiday catalog. That's how cool it is. And I'm using it totally not for Halloween. It's beautiful. But it will go great with your Halloween cards. Isn't that fun? There you go. Front panel fun fold. I have another one. Don't go anyplace. Okay. Here's our one card. And then... Who was that? Was that Claudia that's talking about moving here from Texas? Yep, Claudia. She says, I love old fashions of any kind. Never heard of them before moving here from Texas. Special treat for me as a Southern comfort. That's my favorite, and I love it with olives. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hang on just a second. Here comes all my layers. So, again, we have a black layer. Same size as before. Five and a quarter I'm sorry, five and a half by four and a quarter. Calypso Coral is just a quarter inch smaller, four by five and a quarter. And then this time, instead of using Whisper White like we did here in the background, I'm going to use Designer Series Papers. So this is three and three quarters by five, and we're going to put that right here. Then... Here comes, oh, did I lose, oh, no, here's my little strip. This is for the inside panel, which is two and a half by five and a quarter. Here comes that little tiny half inch strip of designer paper just to embellish that inside layer a little bit. I always leave mine a little bit longer so I can trim them off because I hate it when they're too short. Then here comes our two and a half. Half. I keep going, oh no, two and three quarters by 11. That's why I was like, 
can't remember, scored at five and a half. And we're going to put Clipso Coral that is two and a half by five and a quarter. So the black is two and three quarters. This piece is two and a half. And then our bird ballad paper. Isn't this so pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. We're going to do something a little different with this one too. So then um, we've got white. Oh, and a scrap of black. So here we go. Uh, Memento ink. Your friendship means the world to me. I've got a scrap of white here. And I am going to use my two inch circle punch. So we're using this two inch circle punch on the dinosaur and this card, the dinosaur cards and this card. It's one of those staples that you should just have. Two inch and the starburst. They're fabulous together. And then I'm going to take the, there's some really pretty little flowers in here, right? I'm going to take one of the flowers in the Memento ink. Oh, darn it. My hair is falling out, first of all, so hang on. And I just stamped right over my words. That's not going to be okay with me. And I lost my stamp. Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's try this again. There we go. And then I'm going to stand up so I can see what I'm doing here. Oh, so much better. And then I'm going to bring this leaf in. This little leaf sprig. It's very pretty. And I just wanted a little bit of greenery. Oh, my Lord. Ugh. Well, we've got time. Let's try that again. <laughs> Sometimes. Is this enough to punch out a circle? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to punch it out. We'll see how I can do. Okay, so far so good. Here comes my flower. Okay, that one's all right. Here comes my leaf sprig. Oh, that one just didn't want to stamp very good. I think I didn't ink it up. That's why. Well, we're going to roll with it anyways. All right. Now, when I use Stampin' Blends, I like to use my dark one first. So I'm going to go around and just outline my flower petals. I love this little whimsical flower. I think it's just adorable. Okay. And then I'm going to come in with my lighter one. and color in the centers. Now once you have them colored in, you don't want to just be done there. You want to keep blending. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, see how it just looks like the, it, the, it's outlined and like, well, whatever, Kelly. No, you want to keep blending with the lighter pen and that will blend in that darker edge and then your flowers will look amazingly beautiful like you are some type of a shading artist. That's what I love about these alcohol markers. And I love that they're Stampin' Up! colors because that's pretty helpful in creating stuff. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah. Okay. Next, we're going to move on to our dark old olive. And I'm starting to get hungry. Isn't that funny? I'm just outlining my leaves here. Uh, yeah, I had some pizza today. It's not on my plan, but we were bowling and, you know, sometimes a girl's got to live. And that's a nice thing about this plan. Like, you don't have to deny yourself all the time. So I had some homemade pizza at the bowling alley. It was delicious. The guy brought us the wrong pizza and I went up, I took, I went up and I said, hey, you brought us the wrong stuff on our pizza. We didn't order anything with mushrooms. And he said, yes, you did. Like, really, pal? Because we didn't. <laughs> so he was arguing with me. And that was interesting. And I thought, you're new here, I think, because you're not going to be here long. <laughs> yeah. So we got another pizza and took that one back. Isn't that just pretty, you guys? Okay, let's get our card. Oh, I slid this designer paper. Look at how crooked it is. I didn't let it dry all the way. So have you ever done this? 
Let's see if we can fix this. I'm just putting my bone folder under here and I'm kind of sawing with it because this is not going to work for me. That will make me crazy. Getting designer paper off of a layer is pretty, like, you're going to be lucky if you get it off in one piece because it doesn't, doesn't do well. But I am no quitter. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to peel this off. Then when you have something like this, I have a whole video coming up where I kind of show you how to do this. Now see how that's torn right there? Don't fret. We're going to put just a touch of glue in it. It's going to cover up right there. This poor thing looks like, oh, Kelly, you've ruined it all together. I have not. Believe me, I've done this a few times. I am a professional. <laughs> I love saying that. And I'm totally kidding you guys, but I have done this a few times. Okay, look at that. Whoa! Oh, this side's sticking up here. Hang on. I'll put a little glue in there. I don't want that. That's where I bent it. Look at perfect, right? Gotta love it. Okay. Scrolling. Oh, somebody kind of said try using dental floss or your heat gun. Well, I was very successful with this. So, but thank you guys for the tips. Because um, I know we've all been there. Like, I put that layer on and it was great, but I must have, when I moved it, pushed it and it slid it over. So that kind of was like, oh. Here comes my inside layer. Now we're going to put glue on the back here. Stand up so I can get this. Now this one I'm going to not put in the center. I'm moving it over to the side. And of course this is going to create a little different interest, right? And then I'm going to grab my dimensionals. And I'm going to put them on the back, but only on this one side over here. Just like this. <gasps> What do you guys think? Look at how cute that is. I love this. It's the paper, you guys. The paper does it, right? The paper makes the card. Well, and, you know, some of my mad skills. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here tonight. We have two different fun folds. We've got our dinosaur. Super, super cute. And I love this one. Thanks for being a friend of Saurus. And who's not going to giggle? I love you this much. It's more than it looks. <laughs> if anybody needs to place an order tonight, please hop on over to my blog. In the right-hand column, you're going to find a on my ordering button. As soon as I can, I am going to get all of these posted onto my blog tonight. I have some of the photography done already. Um, and there'll be a complete shopping list there for all the products that I use tonight. Oh, I'm gonna need to make some envelopes up, aren't I? I didn't stamp any envelopes to match the, uh, well, I've got this one that goes with this one. I need some more. So yeah, does anybody have any questions that I missed? If you do, now is the time to ask them. Um, like I said, this next week, I have a lot of things coming up. <clears throat> Watch my blog right here is the address. Use this host code. That host code can always be found in that right-hand column on my blog also, the, whatever the current code is. And somebody's going to ask me, did this change in the month of June? Yes, it did. I have changed it. So this is a different code than I had the other day, um, just so you know that. And then if anybody's coming on late, just again to reiterate, um, please don't ask me to send these templates to you for these because it is not my place to do it. I order a meeting planning service and that's where I get these from, but you're certainly welcome to print these. You just type in the name of the designer paper and the colors of coordinating cardstock. Print them out. These are two by two and these are one inch circle punches. So create a way. Make your own up. I love having these, especially for my videos and um, taking them to class so people can see, you know, wow, look at all the color coordinating with that bird ballad, right? It's crazy. 
So yeah, busy week this week. We got a lot of stuff coming up, um, some challenges, a brand new online class using the Good Morning Magnolia Suite. If anybody is interested um, in that, you do get the class free when you purchase the bundle from me, the big bundle or the little bundle. Mary Olson says, beautiful, another fabulous night. Congrats to the winners. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to share my video. If you're watching later on YouTube, click on that share button. Click on that bell. That'll notify you when I'm live. Um, <clears throat> what else can I tell you? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. That's also really helpful. The more subscribers I have is the higher in the algorithms my um, video channel will get, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a programmer, but at least that's the way I understand it. Okay, yeah, I don't see any questions that I've missed. Um, yeah, okay. I think we're done for tonight. I will be back live on June 23rd, 7 p.m. Central Time, right here on this channel. If you guys have any suggestions on what you would like me to use, please leave me a message. Um, private, you can private message me. Sometimes things get lost in all the comments, but I do try to watch all my comments. You can, you can message me on my um, a stamp above your Creative Coach page. If you have any requests, I will take those into consideration. I always am looking for ideas, obviously, right? So yeah, should be fun. I want you guys to have a wonderful week. We're hoping for some summer weather here in Wisconsin, but it's not looking good. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to ride my bike and not be cold and dreary. How's that? It's not a big request. <laughs> All right, you guys, have yourselves a wonderful week. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your likes. Click on the like button. I appreciate your shares. I appreciate your comments. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Bye-bye.